we start us off with a quiz? Great. Yeah. This just came in. This is a very fun, this is a fun quiz. This is this or that, oops, all brassica edition. <laughs> Can someone explain to me what that even means? Is this uh, magic? Brassicas are the types of like cauliflower, kale, broccoli kind of vegetables that are all oh. actually the same plant. Mm. I love that I didn't know if that was magic or vegetable. Like, that is so perfect. Magic, vegetable, or mineral. Yeah. We would probably warn you a little bit in advance if it was. We might do some. Send send quizzes for all levels of interest. But anyhow, this is brassicas. What's our first one? Yeah. Is it true they're all cultivated from the mustard seed plant? Is it? Is it? Yeah. Yes, our friends, Brassica, the mustard and cabbage family. Ah. Brussels sprouts. Sorry, I just have to hold it up for my boys. Sure, yeah. yeah. I got some interesting Brussels sprouts facts for you later. Uh, Always uh, fry them. Presenter notes. Mm, yeah? yeah, you'll have to open uh, those up. Unfortunately, that means you probably won't be able to play. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I probably honestly know all of these answers anyhow because that's the kind of person I am. I like all baking right. them. First up, oil, cabbage. Yeah, it's crispy. I like that. All right, this oh, is, bur- uh, is this Brassica oleracea. Or Brassica Rappa. Ooh. Um. Oh, where's my Latin when I need it? Oleracea Rappa. I. I'm. I'm going to say Brassica Rappa. I also instinctively want to say that, but all of my Latin is Oops. theology based, so it's useless here. Understood. Off to the void oh right, we chat. forgot to void chat. I, I want to say Brassica Rappa too, but only because it sounds like uh, the... Parappa the Rappa. Yeah, Parappa yeah. the Rappa. Yeah. <laughs> Parappa the Rappa. Dropping some beats. Yeah, Come I, in. All right, so it looks like our contestants have decided that, that whatever the outcome, they want to live in a world where it's fun to say Brassica Rappa. And so do I. What is the answer, engineering? Parappa the Rappa. It's Ooh. Brassica oh. Rappa. Oh, it's Brassica Olacieria Capita F. Alba. So I can't think of anyone better for reading this than me. But, uh, <laughs> the cult of our name, Capita, comes from the Latin for having a head. And yeah. that is, in fact, why these are called heads of cabbage. Yeah. Oh, neat. All right, moving on. Napa cabbage. Is this? Well, I guess uh, I'm Bra- going to also go with Brassica Rappa. Okay. Yeah, I... This is so impossible. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to guess Brassica Rapper for all of them. Yeah, what vague oh, wait, no. feeling do I wait, have? Wait, Hold on. There might be a trick to this. Yeah. There's sub, subtypes. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to say Brassica or Olerasia again. Okay. I'm going to stick with Brassica Rapper. I want to change my vote. I don't know. But again, it's just my fifis, so do whatever. Okay, <laughs> let's, see, let's see what the answer is. It's Brassica Rapper. It was Rapper. Rapper. Okay, so developed in 15th century China, the Mandarin name, oh, I can't pronounce this, I'm really sorry, I can't even pronounce English, uh, literally means big white vegetable. Oh. Well, there you go. There you so go. there you go. It's just, they're like big white vegetable. This is a turnip. Now, this is, a, you might, you've That's seen the pattern here. Is it an Olerasia or a Rapa? It's a root vegetable. I'm so confused. I'm this. Olerasia. This is this is a brassica. Yes, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, is a carrot a brassica? What the what is? I don't no. know. Am I fighting? A potato. <laughs> <laughs> Who's drawing the lines? <laughs> okay, um, uh, uh, Rappa. I'm gonna go with Olerasia on this one. Okay, Mikey. Rappa. All right, what is it? Yeah, it's a Rappa. Uh, All, right. All right, Rappa might mean. Brassica somewhat rapper, rapper. buried underground mm. and yeah. growing somewhat All underground. Right. So the species Rappa may comes from the Latin rapus meaning turnip, which in turn comes from the Greek raphus meaning turnip. <laughs> <laughs> so the cabbage is a turnip? I am what? Yep. I know. Okay. Welcome to Brassicans. God, I love facts. <laughs> Welcome to Brassica. <laughs> Have a You've seat. Been brassicans. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next up, broccoli. Delicious one that I think everyone loves. All right, I'm going to go Olerasia on this one. I'm going straight in. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Olerasia on this one as well. Andy? Uh, yeah, it's a head one. Okay, Olerasia. This is our guess. And it is 
Olaricea. Hey. Ooh, have we figured it out? A head of broccoli is the flowering part of the plant. It is an excellent source of vitamin C. 100 grams provide 107% of your daily value. Imagine if the British had used broccoli instead of limes. Oh. We call them brockies. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, cauliflower. All right. We know this. Is it has it to be Olorosia, right? I want to say Olorosia. I mean, it just it's white broccoli. like. That's true. All right. Well, we, I, his, I'm, I'm going to say we're going to get zagged on here. But yeah. I, if we do, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> rapa, just because the cauliflower is white, and the, the second one was the big white vegetable that was also ooh. a rapa. Ooh. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, galaxy brain. This is a fantastic this or that. Uh, all right. What is it? <laughs> it is Olorosia. Oh. I mean, uh, so... The fact about that the provided about cauliflower is it's basically just broccoli with fewer vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> so that was essentially what I said. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what you said. It I, does. It looks like dead coral. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yep. I think uh, these days it just looks like coral. Uh, Ooh, I'm sorry. Curly Ooh. leaf mustard. Plus, Kathleen defined the second most darkest level. This goes keeps going down well, and down. They made that joke in Pokemon. They did too. They made that joke in Pokemon. Oh. Uh, moving on, curly leaf mustard. <laughs> I have a Older weird theory a here. Or rapper. We can't see what's on the other, like what's growing underground on curly leaf mustard. It's turnips all the way down. <laughs> it's tur- it's turnips all the way down. Um, I want to say Olorosia, all right. but there might be some I, rapper I'm, going on there. I'm gonna go with Olorosia. Me as well. Okay, three right. for Olorosia. Okay, it is brassica. Junecia, a zag. It was a neither. What? 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 I read the it. instructions. I didn't read oh. the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be surprised too. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Anyhow. Brassica junicea is generally known as brown mustard. Uh, uh, Sinapis alba, white mustard, once called Brassica alba, is the primary source of the mustard condiment. Mm. All right, next up, uh, Komatsuna. Is this Olorosia or Rapa? Rapa. I'm going to say Rapa. Neither. (laughs) I don't even know what's real anymore. All right. (laughs) Go agreed. It's Rapa, oh. subspecies, Pervidius. Yeah. Pervidius. Sometimes called Japanese mustard spinach, it is neither mustard nor spinach. <laughs> <laughs> it is Japanese, having been named by shogun Tokugawa Yoshimune after the Komatsu River. I feel like language is often the patch notes on language. <laughs> <laughs> this is mustard, asterisk. It's not mustard. <laughs> neither. All right, uh, Kale, what's, uh, is it or Rappa? Because it's got, it's got features of both. Yes. Yeah. Like, what if broccoli was all leaf and no good part? Is that would be a... Kale. <laughs> but it's got no head to it. It's got no... I want to, is this, wait, what was, what were the actual instructions involving Braska Juncia? I feel like... There was only one surprise. Okay, good. Okay. Excellent. So this okay. is okay. Um uh, Olorosia. Olorosia. Cuz that thing in the center I think is the flower even if it's just leaves. Goodbye. Yeah. It's yellow and stuff. Mhm. All right, it is an Olorosia. Very Ooh. smart. Very smart. You couldn't be fill, uh, fooled by its leafy appearance. No, nope. I, I somehow have the Latin challenge down, except for the neither, because I didn't know that was. Oh well, yeah, no, I mean, I and I didn't warn you either. So how would you have known? <laughs> and here we are. Welcome to Alpha Flight. <laughs> well, I what I like about Alpha Flight this uh, now with uh, with the with the oh, with the Trinity of Mikey, Erica, and Kathleen, all of whom love facts. <laughs> Like, it doesn't matter what kind of fact it is. We will start going deep on it. I think the <laughs> world it, could use to learn more things, not yeah. less things. Yeah. And so I'm here for learning. You love to learn. I find anything interesting. Like, I've got no standards. I studied <laughs> the Ninja Turtles for, like, a month and a half, and like, researching them. Yeah, I don't... That's my job, I guess. Yeah. 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 And you also have a keen appreciator of facts. Enjoy your trivia. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Anyhow, uh, collard greens. Uh, Ooh. I'm gonna say Rafa. I'm gonna say Alaricia. I think it's all Alaricia. It is Alaricia. Collard greens are a primary, the premier source of vitamin K, with 388 percent of your daily vitamins. Jeez, oh. in a hundred gram serving. Jeez. That's so little. Do you think if you ate enough collard greens, you could get very sick Maybe. with too much vitamin K? They take so long to make well that I think it's sort of like nobody is just chomping raw collards, right? That's like, true. Uh, yeah, collard greens are something I don't know if I've ever actually I have had. had. They're really good. They're mm-hmm. really delicious. Yeah, uh, when but, done well. Yeah, when like prepared and like with all sorts of like slow cooking and like other air. It's they're delicious. But lengthy to prepare. Yeah. Bok choy. Ooh. Rapa. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with rapa on this one. I also am a rapa. It is... A rapa. It's, can- it's Cantonese sui bok choy for small white vegetable. Hey. <laughs> Baby bok uh, choy. Which uh, differentiates from our big friend, the large white vegetable. <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, Mikey, it's your boys. That's the Brussels. Are they Olorosias or well, Rappas? So the thing about Brussels sprouts is there's clearly a lopped off portion. So we're seeing... Mm-hmm. So my gut would be Olorosia because that's what it is. But I think there's a part they cut off that grows underground. So have I want to say Rappa. Have you ever Rappa. seen a Brussels sprout stalk? They actually grow on like a big tall stalk. Yeah, think of it. Of like oh, so Rappa yeah. definitely. Yeah, it's like it's like a it's like they're Eric is right. They're like four feet tall. It's like imagine if a corn cob was huh. all like Brussels sprouts, yeah. but there are more space to part than kernels slice, of corn. You prep them by oh. a, cro- a crock and bush of yes, Brussels. Yes, a crock and bush. You slice them off like yep. this. Oh wow, uh, that's so I'm, fun. I'm say Rappa. What did you say, Mikey? <laughs> Uh, not, I said bread. I said <laughs> Wonder Bread, easily available. <laughs> Wonder Bread, just body good, high in iron. I think I don't. I haven't eaten white bread in so long. Me neither. Yeah. Wonder Bread. They put all sorts of stuff in there. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> all all right. kinds of chemicals. <laughs> uh, wrap up. Olorosias. Oh, really? Oh. oh, they're just incredibly weird mutants. Then instead of having oh. one head, it's covered in thousands of tiny heads. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think I need to see the plant, which is in chat right now, but we can't see chat. So put it put it up later after we're done the quiz. Yeah. Uh, Brussels sprouts were likely first developed in ancient Rome, but it wasn't until the 1990s that Dutch scientist Hans van Duren identified what made them bitter, enabling breeding tastier varieties. Brussels sprouts have indeed gotten better over the years. They used to be way worse and way more bitter than they are. Leveled up. Damn. That's a glow up, Brussels sprouts. They're we still, see you. Not, I still find I, Brussels sprouts are one of, like, I have trouble with all brassicans. They all taste fairly bitter to me. Um, and Brussels sprouts are some of them. Cauliflower and Brussels sprouts are the two worst. I, they're literally inedible to me. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. No matter how much they're cooked? Oh, yeah. I've had, like, people have been like, these are the best Brussels sprouts ever. Like, Fried with bacon and salt and like done up as best as yeah, you can do, and they're just sure. like, no, no, I can't eat them. Well, if it's the bitterness, there's no real way to overcome that. Yeah. Like, no amount of honey is gonna. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got this is literally our last one, so let's move on. This is rapini. Is it a rapa or or an olorosia? I now, knew you say olorosia as a zag. <laughs> Well, look at it. It's got all the leaves and it's got the tiny heads. Yeah, it was clearly like cultivated off of a larger thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to say Rappa. Rappa. All right. Rissia. All Rissia. What is it? It's a Rappa. I overthought it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Rapini is heavily used in Italian and Galician cuisine and also in Italian American restaurants on the U.S. East Coast. Interesting. All right. And then we have a bonus. Brassica napus, ah yes, had an unfortunate, fortunate common name, but now it is canola. Oh yes, yes. Oh, right. Oh, right. The yeah. good old Canadian cola, canola oil also is a brassica. Canola is a brassica. Mm-hmm. So it was developed in the canola was developed in the 1970s at the University of Manitoba, and the seeds of this cultivar produce oil when pressed that is less than 2% your, uh, your, your syric acid, as opposed to up to 54% for older cultivars. 
The name comes from Canadian oil, low acid. And Canada is the largest single producer of canola oil. Wow. Uh, What a great fact. Did not know that. I had no idea. I always fry Brussels sprouts in canola (gasps) oil, so now I'm like, It's like it's like cooking chicken and eggs at the same time. I like how... They came at the same time. The, um... The Canadians were like, it had an unfortunate name. It's like, oh yes, it did. There's, that's what a Brussels that's Brussels sprout plant. Yeah, it literally wow. looks like Wonder Bread. Yep, looks like sleigh bells. Oh, yeah, kind of does. Yeah. Oh, that was a, that's a much better metaphor than my thousands of tiny heads thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's a, that's what a Brussels sprout. Well, that's, that's a that's a gross looking plant. Yeah. <laughs> it... Uh... Yuck. <laughs> I want to make a horror movie out of that plant, yeah. like the attack of the it's fifty foot like, Brussels sprout. Uh, has science bush. gone too far? I mean, so maybe. weird. What did you say, Mike? <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> Anyhow, that was that was so fun. That, what a great this or that. Thank you so much. 